E aí, pessoal, então a gente vai dar sequência à nossa série de entrevistas aqui. Agora eu tenho minha nova amiga Cecília Enval, da Suécia. Uh, ela estava aqui, está, estava aqui na Alemanha para uma competição, a competição da RSV de FH, de Faro, e foi muito bem, uh, terminou em quarto lugar. Eu queria dar os parabéns para ela, só congratulations for your result yesterday. E é, eu vou fazer algumas perguntas para ela para em para que a gente possa ter a ideia clara da visão dessas pessoas que são de países onde a sinofilia é muito evoluída, como a Suécia, e um, onde eles têm uh, também para ter acesso, para possibilitar o acesso a todos vocês às ideias dessas pessoas. Então eu vou fazer algumas perguntas e eu espero que vocês gostem e ajudem a divulgar o canal e essas entrevistas, tá pessoal? Valeu então. Vou começar então perguntando para ela, depois eu vou colocar as legendas embaixo, certo? Sou Cecília... Thank you so very much to accept the interview. Thank you. And um, congratulations again for the result. Uh, and I want to ask you um, uh, how was, so first time, um, how you are in, here in Germany now? Uh, why, why, sorry, yes. why you yes. are here in Germany? Yes, we are here in uh, Germany uh, for, yeah, two or three uh, things, uh, yeah. I think. Uh, the first one. First one uh, is uh, that we used to visit this uh, competition. Mm -hmm. the FEH. F yeah, um, um, the uh, championships mm -hmm. for uh, trekking dogs that RSV 2000 arrange mm -hmm. every year. We like very much to uh, to go to this, mm -hmm. um, where we meet uh, our. Uh, uh, friends in our sweet 2000 and uh, yeah have a good uh, good time mm -hmm. um, um, yeah that's one of the reason and uh, another reason is uh, that we uh, go here a little bit before the competition and we do some uh, training very mm -hmm. good training uh, and so on yeah okay mm -hmm. very nice mm -hmm. so uh, how long Are you in the dog sport world and with dogs and training and like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How um, long and how was your start, your yes, begin? Yes, uh, I uh, grew up with uh, dogs, mm -hmm. um, so they have always been a part of my uh, life. Mm -hmm. um, at first, I uh, started with uh, competing with horses mm -hmm. in uh, show jumping and worked uh, with horses also. Mm -hmm. um, With horses? Yeah, yeah. Jumping horses? Yeah, jumping okay. horses, yes. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, from uh, from there, um, I always had uh, a dog um, in this uh, same uh, time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I started to train with the uh, dog also and got my first German Shepherd about 27 years uh, ago. 27 years. Yeah, that's when I was starting in uh, very small to train mm. and uh, try um, and uh, compete and uh, and so on. Uh, so you mm. have uh, around the same time from Eric mm -hmm. in the dog sport. Yeah, yeah. Around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, with IGP, um, I started about what would it be? 15 years ago or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 15 years, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how many dogs uh, did you train and compete or qualify for Schutzen for EGP? Um, let's see, um, first my Nikki that introduced me to the IGP, mm -hmm. so I learned a lot. Then we have the Vicky, uh, and then we have the Grace. It is uh, Three dogs mm -hmm. that I have uh, showed in uh, IGP and uh, Schutzhund mm -hmm. and also uh, IGP FH. Okay. Yeah. This, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was only IGP, but the, uh, the, the second and the third was for IGP FH and uh, uh, Schutzhund and IGP. Nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so, um, The next question, I think it's one of the most important things is, according to your technology and your idea, what's the meaning of a health German Shepherd for you? What's the meaning for, uh, of a healthy dog for you? 
the, your idea about this according to your experience? Yeah, the help is uh, uh, everything um, I can uh, say mm -hmm. in an uh, easy way. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very important because without help, we, uh, the, the, we dog, the dog can, uh, cannot pre uh, perform. It's yeah. uh, impossible, I think, and it should be fair to the dog. Uh, and if we want to, um, um, how should I say it? Uh, um, if we want to keep on mm -hmm. with with dogs and have them uh, in our daily life, mm -hmm. we must take care of our dogs uh, much better and uh, see um, see to the health and the um, breed our dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, for you, health mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. not only. Uh, the check controls like uh, HD or ED or back control. It's no. one. It's uh, one uh, mo mostly um, uh, biggest concept. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of help is a very big concept uh, actually, and it's both uh, um, of course the skelet with uh, important uh, yeah, impact. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, but then we have uh, all other uh, diseases mm -hmm. um, like allergies and uh, immunity system. Uh, six, uh, yeah, um, that we uh, struggle with uh, today. Yeah. Yeah. And every time I have a German Shepherd, I learn something new about health. Of course. Yeah. So I am uh, looking for this very much when I uh, uh, looking for new dogs and uh, so on. So that's the exactly you talked in the point that uh, I want to ask you about when do you look for a dog for yourself uh, what you want to see in this dog doesn't matter if it's a puppy or adult dog mm -hmm. w what you want to see when they are looking for, you are looking for other or a new dog for mm -hmm. you yeah um, I try to um... Uh, get to know as much as I can, take my responsibility and check up the uh, lines, uh, bloodlines, blood mm -hmm. and uh, um, yeah, it's it's difficult sometimes, but uh, to check that um, uh, we have uh, put away uh, things that are not good mm -hmm. that, uh, for the dog. Um, I can't explain it in English better than, <laughs> okay. than, uh, than that, but uh, I take my responsibility and check as, as much as I am uh, you, able to do. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah I got the idea. You yeah. mean uh, you try to avoid some uh, yeah. dogs that uh, you know and everybody mm. knows in mm. Europe that uh, transmit some things that we don't deserve. Mm -hmm. Something like y that. Yeah, exactly. I, okay. I, I uh, do my best. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, that's uh, one thing that is very important, uh, and um, I always look um, um, when there is possibility. I um, take a look at the female, mm -hmm. the, the mother. mother of the puppies. Yeah. Uh, if I like her mm -hmm. or not. Of course. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there is also very. Uh, important for me to feel a, a connection uh, with the, with the dog. Okay. Uh, yeah. If the it's dog likes important. you and you like the dog. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, I can. Uh, I have very easy to feel feel that in my uh, yeah. heart and soul. Yeah. I saw here with <laughs> yeah. your new dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. So you talk at oh, either in a very important thing because uh, sometimes in Brazil and I know in South America. People only look for the male. I don't know why. So you talk that uh, you try to check about all the things about the female mm -hmm. from this young dog or this puppy all time. So you believe that in, if we put together the male, the father mm -hmm. and the female, mm -hmm. a little bit more important or much more important is the female, right? Yes, I think that. It's a it's a mirror for the puppies. Yeah, I think. you believe in that. Yes, I believe in that. So it's very mm -hmm. nice to mm -hmm. listen something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my opinion, of course. But <laughs> okay, but uh, your opinion yeah. <laughs> is much important. Mm -hmm. That's because the reason of the interview. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, really nice to see, and uh, I think it's most uh, uh, 
um, it's uh, amazing to it and it's amazing thing to people from Brazil to listen something like that uh, with a uh, well experienced uh, dog sport uh, person from Sweden. Okay, um, according you, you, you can see uh, in the training, uh, what's the mostly mistakes that you try to avoid or you can see around the world or in the training fields from Sweden or also in, here in Germany? What's your opinion about this part of the in, in training, the mistakes? And yeah. uh, I think uh, the biggest mistakes is that you get stuck in uh, um, not a system but uh, um, method uh, yeah a method and uh, uh, you have decided a way to uh, to do the exercise mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I for, for me uh, it's very important that you uh, can be able to change that you don't get stuck in one way to do an exercise, yeah, you okay. have to change it uh, depending on what happened uh, in, the in the training, and depending uh, of the answer of the dog. Also. Yeah, and uh, and exactly depending on on the dog. Uh, one dog um, need to be trained in, in uh, one way, mm -hmm. and the other dog needs to be trained in a completely different way. So, in your opinion, you have, you have to see what, yeah. what you have, what uh, what it is for dog you have, mm -hmm. and you have to train it on the dog's um, ability. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, for you, one the biggest mistake that uh, you saw and that you mm -hmm. still see is when the people. Um, still keep in doing the same method that uh, mm -hmm. it's not uh, the uh, best way to keep this special kind of dog or that one mm. exactly like this yes okay uh, yes but because i can often see that um, people are trained together they train in the same ways not depending on uh, um, what dog it is they do it the same exactly the same on mm -hmm. uh, with all the dogs and uh, yeah so um, it's uh, it's like the people mm -hmm. cannot uh, think about what mm -hmm. they are doing. Yeah. They just repeat one yeah. system yeah. that they learn in some place. Yeah, it's okay. only um, about uh, research. Um, research, yeah, 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 research, yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, and also um, when I help uh, others and uh, mm -hmm. other helps me, mm -hmm. it's very important mm -hmm. that we know what we're training on. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, for example, you you come, you have watched my training and yeah. you come to me yeah. uh, and uh, uh, give me some advice or so, it's very important that you know mm -hmm. what I was training about. Of course. Yeah, and that uh, very much people miss that point. Okay. They don't have a clue what uh, uh, what the purpose is mm -hmm. of the training or what you're training about. Yeah. And that is very very important. Yeah, they just repeat and yeah. doing what the... Yeah. In, yeah. Okay. And also to ask uh, when I see a, a person uh, um, training um, and look at the dog before mm -hmm. I... Um, um, yeah, before we discuss or something, mm -hmm. I have to know what the purpose of the training was and so on. Mm -hmm. And see what it is for dog. Okay. And the handler also. Of course. Yeah. Because of team. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I have one. Uh, uh, I during your uh, explanation, I was mm -hmm. thinking about one uh, other question, uh, mm -hmm. talking about uh, the tracking, because mm -hmm. in Brazil, a lot of uh, dog handlers have a prob have problems in the tracking, and you got a very good result yesterday in the tracking. V FEH and EGP FEH competition. So, uh, as you can see, uh, what's the mistakes that can cause so many troubles for the people in tracking? Uh, not only in the competitions, but uh, you can see the results from Brazilian people, unfortunately, in the last years. But uh, what's the most important thing to don't do mistakes in tracking training, according mm -hmm. your knowledge. Yeah, oh, 
it's uh, uh, it's a lot, of course, and depending on the dog again, okay, <laughs> and, of course, uh -huh. and how you are as a handler. Yeah. But uh, I think the most important, you need to have time to track, especially for the long tracks. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, it's not a quick fix. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need to train, train and train and train. So tracking. Uh, train mm. means uh, not only a quantity but the quality of training. Yeah, of course, of course, quality. But mm -hmm. you you have to also repeat it. Mm -hmm. uh, that um, for me that has worked worked out. Yeah. Uh, and um, I also thinking about one uh, thing that has been. Um, um, very uh, successful is when you have your dog in a really really good condition mm -hmm. uh, that um, uh, makes it easier for the dog to, to track uh, longer tracks and keeps uh, uh, concentrated for a longer time. Mm -hmm. I but see a difference with my yeah. la latest dog that I have. Uh, they we had a really, really good con condition. We had to swim a lot with the mouth uh, closed and then we breathe in by the nose. Yeah. That uh, ma ma makes a, a lot of difference. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. And uh, uh, I think because in tracking. Are you ready to see it again? No. No, no. Still. So One more. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, uh, people in Brazil confuse a little bit because, in my opinion, they use the uh, food for so long time. So, uh, okay. according you can see, you can see this uh, mistake in Sweden or uh -huh. not. And the other thing is, you here, here in, mm -hmm. in Germany or in Sweden or mm -hmm. around Europe. Mm -hmm. Uh, very good people in tracking training in, uh, in different times in the day. Yeah. In Brazil, it normally not happens. What's your opinion about this? Uh, first, about food. Mm -hmm. Food. Uh, yeah, where again, you have to see what your dog needs. Okay. Some dog needs it. For some dogs, it's a disaster. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so you must be able to read your yes. dog. Okay. Yes. So okay. Figure out yeah. what the dog needs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Great. And and now what about and, Cecilia? And the, the the second one about yeah. the the different times. In... Yeah, I don't think uh, that doesn't matter. The time of the day doesn't matter. It's but, more important to see what you have. Mm done the day before or if you are going to train with obedience or protection mm -hmm. uh, so you don't uh, make a mess mm -hmm. for the dog uh -huh. the dog must be able to handle it in, mm -hmm. in its uh, way yeah. and if you have conflicts mm -hmm. in the obedience or protection work um, it, uh, it's not fair to the dog to uh, um, uh, to uh, uh, to track and expecting it, uh, uh, good results and uh, so on. You have to make a plan for the tracking. Yeah. That, uh, that's important for me. To, I can uh, plan tracking, especially when I educate mm -hmm. a tracking dog, uh, to, uh, to track for some days, mm -hmm. uh, three, three days in a row. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I separate it from the uh, obedience and uh, protection. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, three days tracking, and then you can do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. But don't mix the track with the other um, sections. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Then Very you, good. Then you educate the dog. Yeah. Of in, course, in it the... needs to handle this all three parts. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Nice to see. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. To the end, uh, you can. Uh, talk a little message about the dog sport and uh, what's uh, what's the m important things that uh, we don't talk it, but uh, you consider important to uh, give this message from the South American and Brazilian people from dog sport. Yeah, uh, remember to have fun. 
Um, it's very important. Sometimes we uh, forget what we think. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, think about why you are doing this. Uh, uh, for me, I'm doing this because it should be fun. Mm -hmm. I love my dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, my dog is a friend for me, a very special friend. Um, so, yeah, don't, don't lose that on the way. Because our, mm -hmm. so many people in dog sport mm -hmm. talk about uh, have fun, but yeah. these people most of times they keep their dogs like a robot, like a machine. Yeah. So I, have a true. Exactly. I have a uh, very good example. The uh, second dog I was uh, competing in uh, IGP, but also learned me a lot of tracking. Mm -hmm. uh, that good. Uh, that dog doesn't have the uh, the talent mm -hmm. for uh, for protection really, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was uh, lacking of drive. Mm -hmm. She uh, needs more drive in uh, protection and also obedience. She was very te technically careful, but the drive uh, was not. Um, I go out with her mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, and we did her. We did it um, um, from the, what the dog was able. Mm -hmm. to do that time yeah mm -hmm. and i learned a lot i learned very very much of that uh, it was very good for me so i i kept on and training this dog i learned a lot we educated the dog as much as it was possible mm -hmm. uh, yeah so it's uh, believe in your dog and uh, yeah. Be careful about her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank yeah. you so very much, Cecilia. Thank you. Thank you for this interview. Yeah. And mm -hmm. espero que só que vocês tenham gostado e que fique aí a dica de quem realmente tem muita coisa para ensinar e até a próxima então, tá, pessoal? Valeu. Um abraço. Tchau, tchau. Tchau. Bye. Bye.